Hey, what's up guys? John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we've got another Humminbird video for you. We're going to be going over the Lake Master VX Premium Map Card and we're going to give this away to one of you lucky viewers. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, I have Okeechobee Lake pulled up on here. We are in the southeast region. This card is not going to do me any good up here in Kansas, so we have decided to give this card away to one of you guys. So just comment down in the comment section below in order to be eligible to win this card. But one of the most important features out of this VX Premium card I've got pulled up here for you guys to see, and that is 2D Shaded Relief. And as you can see, we're using colors similarly to how we've used them in depth shading in the past, but this is actually showing you the bottom composition. So you can kind of see where breaks are. Obviously these channels are gonna show up really well, but you see when you go from these harder colors into the softer colors, um, right there on the bank, it's, it's very apparent what's going on. Uh, but then once you get out into the middle of the lake, you start to see things like right here in the middle of my screen, just right north of the, the river channel there, you've got a bunch of stuff going on that you really wouldn't know about otherwise, and it's not going to appear the same way as it would if you were just looking at your depth contours. So the shaded relief option is definitely gonna be able to help you find those spots on a spot. So that is something I wanted to point out at the very beginning of this video. One of really the, the big major changes with this new line of mapping, um, we do have aerial imagery overlays on this chart, as you can see as well. This is something that we had with the Lake Master Plus cards in the past, um, but you will only get both of these features, the 2D shaded relief and the aerial imagery overlay if you go with the premium. So there's a VX and then there's a VX premium. So make sure if you want those two things that you get the premium card. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Now I just kind of want to go over how to use this uh, map card, how to use all of the features and make the adjustments that you're going to want to make while you're out there on the water. So I'm going to pull up my menu over here. We're on an apex unit. It's going to look the same way if you're on a Solix unit here. Um, but we're going to go to our chart options and we've got a few different options here. The first thing that I want to point out is that we have three different presets and we've got fishing, navigation, and then user. So you can actually use this as shortcuts. You know, we have shortcut keys on our units a lot of the time to help us get to those customized screens that we've set up to our liking. This is going to be the same way. So you may have a fishing chart that you customize a certain way with shading and uh, stuff like that. And then you may have uh, a more navigation oriented uh, setup. So this is something that you can use as you go from lake to lake. Maybe you fish two very different bodies of water. Maybe you have one set up for summer, spring, and winter, whatever the case, you've got some options over here. Uh, but I'm just gonna select fishing, and then you've got depth highlights. So we'll go ahead and select depth highlights. As you can see, I have those turned off. And I had those turned off to view the shaded relief. So if you're trying to see the shaded relief, the depth highlights are actually gonna cover up that information. So if you're trying to see shaded relief, turn off your depth highlights, and as long as you have shaded relief turned on, you should see uh, just what we saw there on the screen. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn depth highlights on. The first thing you see is the shallow water highlight. We can turn that on or off, and um, that color is typically going to be red, right? And I, I kind of like that. That's what I'm used to. But you can go over here, select your shallow water highlight and you can make that whatever you want. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be a safety thing, but for me, that's kind of what I use that shallow, that shallow water highlight for, is just to keep me from running up onto shallow water and messing up my lower unit. So I usually keep it around five foot. Um, so that's something that you can adjust however you want. We've got, this is, this is one of the major differences as well from the last card, which was the Lake Master Plus card. Uh, we only had, I think, one depth highlight on that last card. I could be wrong, but we had very minimal adjustments that, you, that we could make as far as the depth highlights were concerned. Now we have four. So you have your shallow water highlight, then we have depth highlight number one, um, and you can make that adjustment however you like. Depending on time of year, you may want it to be shallower or deeper, but you can go in here, depth highlight one, you have a minimum range and a maximum range. So you could butt that up right against your shallow water highlight, or you could put some distance in between the shallow water highlight and your first uh, depth highlight. And what that'll do is that'll kind of create its own depth zone. We've talked about that in, in previous videos, but um, we'll go minimum range 15 to, we don't want to do that. Let's go down to uh, 20 foot. I'm a stubborn Helix guy, so I'm still trying to figure out these touchscreen units. So I try to use the knobs whenever I can. So sorry about that, because I know that will probably cause some issues throughout this video, just like you saw there. Um, okay, so we've got depth highlight one selected, and then we can adjust our color. You've got a bunch of different colors that you can select. We've got red, yellow, green, purple, pink. Um, you can select whatever you want there. We've got depth highlight two, same thing. You've got a minimum and a maximum range. You've got depth highlight three, same deal. You can adjust the color presets. Um, so we've got four highlight ranges. I think that's really the important thing to cover in this video is to let you guys know that you have all of these different depth highlights. And that was one of the concerns with you know the, the previous Lake Master cards is that you just didn't have as much information uh, ready to customize at your fingertips. Okay, so now we've touched on the depth highlights. I want to go over some of the other features that you're gonna see on the same screen. The next one that we're gonna look at is layers. And this is where you're gonna see your aerial imagery overlay and your shaded relief. So you'll just wanna make sure that your shaded relief is on. So as you can see, that was uh, automatically pops up on the screen there. We don't have any aerial imagery overlay either. So once we select that, just check mark the box, you're gonna be able to see the aerial imageries as well. And uh, just again, keep in mind, you're not gonna get all of the shaded relief information if you've got all of your depth contour stuff going on as well. So in order to really get a good look at that shaded relief, uh, you want to go back and turn those depth highlights off. Okay, we've also got another option under our chart settings, and that is going to be the depth and contours. So if we select that, we're actually going to be able to turn our contour lines on or off. And as you can see on the screen, all of our contour lines went away. That's going to be something that may be more useful with that 2D shaded relief. Uh, if you're using your depth highlights, then you're probably going to want those lines or, you know, they, they really won't get in the way of anything. But on the 2D shaded relief, I would suggest turning those contour lines off in order to get, you know, a better picture of what's really going on there. Uh, we've also got a color palette that we can adjust here. And we've got five different color palettes that we can choose right out of the box. If you don't want to do any depth highlights, you can select one of these color palettes and I think it was this one here, number one, that really stuck out to me and is very similar to what I kind of build on my own, um, even with that older card. But this is going to give us uh, much more range as far as the uh, highlights are concerned. We're going to be able to shade 
deeper into the water column than we were with just you know those one or two highlight options so you can kind of scroll through these different preset uh, color palettes and then in order to get a better feel for what's going on here let's go back and let's turn off our shaded relief so you guys can get a good idea of what these color palettes really look like. So shaded relief was under layers. Um, we'll go up under our depth contours and we will select one of these different color palettes here. Uh, three, four, and five, they're just, they're kind of bland. You know, you can still mix in your depth highlights. As you can see, the depth highlights are still on the screen, but if you want to go completely eliminate those, then what's left on the screen will be one of those preset color palettes. So, like I said, these are the less desirable ones in my opinion, um, but like this one here I think is a good example. And then also something that you can do is you can do a uh, palette minimum range. Uh, minimum and a maximum range depending on what depth of water you're fishing in. So show you number two. I think that one was my favorite there. We should be seeing shading from the very bottom part of the water column to the very top. Okay, when we're adjusting our color palette, we also have a color palette range. So you wanna make sure that your range is actually gonna pair up uh, with the depth of water that you're fishing. So if you're fishing in zero to 50 foot of water, if, if your lake doesn't get any deeper than 50 feet, then you don't want your range to be 80 or 100 feet because whatever those preset colors are, it's, it's gonna go clear to whatever this setting is at. So, you know, you can do a palette max range into the thousands of feet, right? So if you have it set at a thousand feet and there's 12 colors in that palette, number 12, the 12th color that you see is gonna be at, you know, a thousand feet, right? So if it doesn't look right, if you select one of these pre-made uh, palettes, then, and it doesn't look right, go check your, your ranges on there. So as you can see now, we've got kind of the full spectrum uh, in, in that color palette. We're not just seeing a majority of one color. We're seeing, you know, from the, the oranges into the yellows, into the greens and into the blues. So it's really separating those different uh, depths with, with the, uh, with the pre-made color palette. You still may want to add a highlight here or there. You still may want to do your shallow water highlight. And that is something that will help you get a better idea of, you know, where to fish or maybe where to steer clear of, uh, if you're trying to avoid that shallow water. But these, these pre-made palettes are pretty useful. And if you pair that with a couple of depth highlight changes, I think that it's, it's going to make all the difference in the world. And in my opinion, this Lake Master card is, is one of the best out there. I've really had a chance to tinker with the CMAP stuff, the Garmin stuff, you know, even the new Garmin Avionics stuff. And I think this Lake Master VX Premium gives you all of the features that, you know, and, and then some uh, that, the, uh, that the other manufacturers offer you. So uh, this is a great option for the Humminbird guys out there. I highly recommend it. Okay, and then one feature that I do wanna go over before we wrap this video up is the water level offset. This is something that we've had in the past, uh, but this is gonna be an important feature that you guys use when the water levels are rising or, or maybe right now, uh, you guys are like us, depending on what part of the country you're in, but our lakes are really low right now. So we're actually six feet low. That's gonna be six feet high. We're gonna go down to minus six feet. And what that's going to do is that's going to adjust all of your contour lines by six feet. So what once was zero foot of water 
or what once was six foot of water is now zero foot. So all of your contour lines are going to adjust accordingly and then your shallow water offsets are actually gonna be true and they're gonna keep you from running into those low spots. So that is definitely something that you guys want to take into consideration. If you're coming from other units that maybe don't have those features, the water level offset is something that you definitely want to dial in and just be aware that you do not have a water level offset unless you have a card. It doesn't necessarily have to be the premium card, but you do not have a water level offset with the standard base map that comes on these units. So that is something you can take advantage of once you add a Lake Master card. Now the last and final feature of this card, um, this is one of the new features that you have with the VX Premium, is the Smart Strike. And Smart Strike is going to help you to decide where to fish. Um, you're going to be able to punch in a bunch of different things. As you can see on my screen here, you can actually decide what type of species that you want to target. So we'll choose largemouth bass. You can do the time of year, which right now is the fall. Time of day, let's say we wanted to go out and fish after work today. And then we've got other conditions that we can factor in. We can uh, talk about fishing windy conditions like we have here in Kansas, murky stained water. You know, you can go through and you can make these adjustments based off of what you got going on in that very moment of time. Um, you can search, you know, an individual lake. You can break down different parts of the lake. Uh, you could even tell this software, the Smart Strike, to target different types of areas on the lake, like inlets or flats. So it is a very helpful tool for you guys. It's just built into the map card. You're not necessarily paying any more money for it. Uh, it's already right there at your fingertips. Maybe you just want to get a game plan together to go fish some body of water that you're not used to, or maybe you're not having any luck this time of year, so you wanna switch things up. This will help point you in the right direction. So kind of a cool feature and uh, something that I plan on using a little bit more this fall as things kind of change up and how these fish are, are, are reacting. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap up our overview of the Lake Master VX Premium map card. There's a lot of cool new features on here, like 2D shaded relief and aerial imagery overlay. We've got the Smart Strike built in. Uh, we've got some features that we've had in the past as well. But this is definitely something that is gonna help you to be more productive out there on the water. Whether you're running a Helix, Solix, or an Apex unit, you're gonna wanna check out that Lake Master VX Premium. And if you want a chance at winning this card, the Southeast region, make sure you put a comment down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, call us at 316-313-4113 or shoot an email over to sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.